Hello, I'm Ian McEwan and I'm here today to tell you a little about my new novel, Nutshell. So Nutshell is, I have to confess, a, a rather strange and unusual novel, especially for me, rooted as I have been for most of my adult life in writing realist fiction because it's narrated by uh, a fetus uh, who's just two weeks away from being born and uh, listens a lot to what his mother is saying to uh, her lover and is very disturbed what he's beginning to learn. Uh, it seems that uh, his mother is plotting a murder and eventually it becomes clearer to him. His mother's lover is in fact his uncle and the man they intend to murder is this young person, this very young person's father. So we are partly in the plot of Hamlet and uh, this is a tale of um, a highly restricted point of view. You don't get to see much when you're a fetus but you hear a lot and you feel a lot and uh, at least in the world I've created here you get to speculate a great deal about the nature of the world you're going to join because the crucial source of information my narrator has is the radio news and beyond that all kinds of podcasts. One particular taste I've given my narrator as he squats upside down in his mother is for good wine. He's listened with his mother to a 15-part podcast on knowing your wines and he's become very appreciative. And as he says, uh, no one has really enjoyed wine properly unless you have it filtered through a healthy placenta. So his grip on life is rather strange, um, rather askew, and he is burdened with the responsibility, as indeed is Hamlet, of how he will avenge his father's death. It was fun, really, to write. I mean, it's quite in many ways quite a light-hearted novel, although it has some serious intent. Uh, already, you know, when I'm just doing a final draft, I'm looking at um, questions raised by one or two readers. How does he know the carpet is off-white, for example? Uh, how much does one stretch this? He knows so much and all of it is so entirely impossible and completely ludicrous in a sense and playful that uh, one of the points of interest of deciding on this narrator and just what are the limits of what he can know is how much you discard consistency, how much you discard uh, any sense of uh, having to tie him to a consistent, coherent, uh, set of understandings about the world uh, and that's fun it's like um, inventing a game for yourself in which you decide on the rules and, and you also get to decide how to break the rules I was in uh, a, a meeting in which um, a, a great deal of the proceedings were c conducted in German and my German wasn't good enough to follow it. So uh, it was a bit like being in church, in a long church service. I had to keep my face frozen in a, an appearance, a mask of interest. And uh, suddenly uh, a sentence popped into my mind. Uh, here I am again, was the original, uh, upside down in a woman. And I thought, who on earth is speaking? Um, and then I remembered being uh, in Cambridge chatting to my daughter-in-law who was heavily pregnant uh, and we were talking about the baby coming and there was a great deal of excitement and it was her first baby and there was this little hummock um, in front between us as it were uh, and I remember thinking how extraordinary, there's a whole person in there, this commonplace miracle of someone coming out of someone else um, with no previous record, no previous address, no, no allegiances, uh, as it were, set naked upon the kingdom, as, as, it's, uh, 
as Shakespeare writes in Hamlet. Uh, and those two things came together, and I thought, well, that would be fruitful to pursue. Uh, so that was really the, the beginning of this novel. It came out of enforced boredom. Certainly not conscious. I mean, I never really think where I'm going uh, with my work in relation to previous work. I just sink myself into the into the present tense, as it were, of, uh, of the process of writing a book. But in retrospect, uh, yes, it's got some of the qualities of madness of my early narrators, uh, self-absorbed, um, degree of black humour, uh, degree of improbability. So in, I, I think it is closer to maybe in between the sheets, my second volume of stories, than it is to, say, the children act. Um, it felt like a kind of setting free. I've been so involved in, in the world, as it were, the world of law or spying or uh, climate change and trying to get things right at the same time as create characters within a a world that's plausible, uh, plausibly enacted, uh, recognisable to all readers. And to cut loose from all that was, for me, a kind of aesthetic holiday. Um, so yes, uh, in that respect, it felt more like my 22-year-old um, self working than my 67-year-old self.